guys, welcome to this episode. Today I want to talk about the new Apple Vision Pro that's just been launched now. I just, I've been watching a couple of videos online about different reviews of this product and at, at the moment no one's got their hands on this yet. Um, it's just been launched and it's retailing roughly about $3,500 dollars in the US and about 2800 in the UK so it is brand new um, it has got its first generation so it's not you know it's not something that's um, going to be sort of kind of like a, a pre beforehand product that's around uh, it uses very similar to, um, icons and applications to your iPhone and your iPad and your Mac so I am a very keen Mac user as you can see in the back and I'm quite scared that these things are going to go, uh, you know, but it is what it is. And I think with times changing, we, we have to embrace these new technologies. It uses a new thing called N2 chip. It's got a 4K um, screen quality, which I think is amazing. For, you put these goggles on your head, like I'm going skiing, and then I've got 4K resolution. So I think for like, educational places like this, for example, it might get rid of some of these in the background and it might it might be the case where I will get people that I work with or my students that will put these screens on and they'll be designing in a bigger space and I think that's quite exciting. Um, it straps to your head and I think basically once it's strapped to your head you're in this virtual world that allows you to go in and do what you want to do. Um, it's not been used anywhere in the world yet you know um, it's got, apparently it's got no, gonna have no controls so I think that's quite interesting so you basically look through this set and then basically when you look through it, it you can see your space so I can see my space out, out at the back and then it allows me to put icons and applications above that which I think is quite interesting the thing that I think might be a positive and a negative is the controls so apparently it's got no control and all your control is used by your eyes your fingers and your gestures in terms of the way you move around and that will pivot in terms of what and how you operate this um, device. So I think it's quite cool, you know, the fact that, you know, I don't need to put a strap on my hand like some of the brands at the moment and then sort of kind of hover it around. So if I'm, for example, a 3D artist, I can draw with just doing that and I think that will be quite cool. What do you think? I think that might work really, really well. Um, um, you know, it's got it's, it's 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 got similar sort of kind of applications as the Apple iPad. Um, some of the things that you can also do is take three D objects, take them out, and actually extrude them out into your environment and pivot them around and look at your things within a, a virtual world, which I think is quite interesting, particularly for three D animators. Now, um, looking at the launch online, looking at the things that people have been saying, they haven't really talked about AI and how that's going to be integrated into it. Um, I think it's just a standalone device where you interact with virtual world, basically. Um, my my kind of res reservation a little bit at the moment is price. Now, in the US, I think they're saying about, three. I've written it down, three and a half thousand, and in the UK, about two thousand eight hundred. That's like, like a little mortgage, you know? I only take a mortgage out to buy, to buy this product. So... And maybe they might have add-ons once I'm in this virtual world where I can buy applications and all the rest of it. So I think um, that's me speculating there. But I'm, I'm just thinking with all those different things, is that a very affordable device? Now, obviously, it's going to be new and it's going to be loads of those crazy people standing in front of the Apple store going, ah, I need to buy an Apple product. And there will be loads of those there ready to get their Apple devices now. I will probably wait a year or two till the prices come down because for me it's not affordable, especially for my students or for myself, really, to tell you the truth. It's not affordable, but once it's a bit more reasonable, I think maybe with next second generation, third generation, I might look into it um, or I might get one at work and see if, see if that works for me. But, um, you know, the things that I think that are interesting is the fact that it's sensor-driven. So the fact that you just use your fingers, like if you want to scroll, you do that, you do that. You move your eyes and it sort of pivots things around. Apparently, it's got a two-hour battery life as well, so I don't think the battery life is that long um, on a on a device like this. I think it should be far. You know, you might spend two hours watching a film, and if I'm in an immersive 4K film online watching, um, I don't know, Gladiators, I want to see what's going on in Gladiators. And if the film, oh, Titanic, for example, is three hours long, I don't want to get to two and a half hours and my battery runs out. So I think that's something that maybe needs to be possibly improved. Maybe there's some sort of connection that will come in the box that allows you to charge up. It's Wi-Fi. 
So it's going to be Wi-Fi, um, and it's got speak internal speakers attached to it, and it's obviously got the like this the little kind of you know if you've got an iPhone with the little sort of dials, you can sort of control certain things within it as well, which is quite cool. Um, I, I do I do think it's a, I think I do think it's an innovative product, and I think a lot of people out there will, will be seeing the benefits to this. I personally think it's a good product. And I have been an Apple user for 20 years, as you, you know, sort of in the background and Adobe and all the rest of it. But I do think that this product is innovative. The only drawbacks I'm seeing at the moment are pricing, um, battery life, um, how well my fingers will work in response to my environment. So if it's Wi-Fi and sensor driven, uh, you know, how about if my environment dictates, how about if I've got moisture on my hand? How about if I'm eating and I'm, I don't want to use this thing? Then is it is it going to work as well? Um, how responsive is the sensors to my movements? I think that might be uh, a big thing as well. But we shall see, and we shall see how good it is. Um, leave some comments in the comments below to let me know what you think. I'm excited. I'm sure you are. Uh, we'll see how this product pans out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.